Hello and good day. This is your boy Mark, K2CSX, bringing you a nice little video here on the ICOM 705. I had just received my 705 uh, about a week ago, and um, I just want to do a little quick video on it. Show you some of the uh, features and some of the accessories that I have gotten for this radio. Well, let's check out the tripod here. We got a nice little tripod uh, from Slickin, and um, it's in the one and a quarter slot up there. Uh, if you push it down, it has a nice little suction cup here, which can suck to a nice flat surface, like a desk or a table or a countertop or whatever the case may be. On the sides here, <clears throat> I have an elbow connector, B and C elbow connector. All right. Now I have an antenna that I use. As far as uh, 2 meter, 440, 6 meters. This is the uh, antenna that was from the my uh, Yesu 817. It's also a BNC connector there. This little uh, piece up here comes off. <coughs> Excuse me. This little piece comes off where you can make it into a longer piece and operate six meters. That works out real well here on the uh, 705. Now, the 705 is a wonderful radio uh, due to the features that it has and all. I also uh, purchased the MFJ1899 T, which is this uh, puppy right here, 6 through 80 meters, and this is it right here. As you see, you got your little uh, plugs here where you can connect to different bands with the help of this uh, banana plug wire has two ends like that and um, it connects quite nicely and works uh, quite well. This is your uh, extension right here, telescopic, that connects to that piece right up there at the top. Okay. So, some people might ask, uh, shuts off every now and then, some people might ask, why would you want to spend a grand on a radio like this? Well, you know, people have different opinions. <coughs> you have different, um, you know, wants and needs to, uh, you want to go out and work some QRP, you want to work, uh, you know, talk to your buddies and have a good time. As I said, this thing, uh, this radio has satellite. You see the satellite icon there. We're on a full battery. It got your time. You have your, uh, your band scope there. I put the antenna on here so you can see the band scope. You got your band scope, waterfall. So you could just be sitting uh, back watching the baseball, football, basketball game or the hockey game. And you can see uh, when a station appears. Uh, what you're hearing there is the local airport. Been listening to some air band. And um, I did do the Mars cap on this radio, and it works quite well. It does uh, go down into the 27 megahertz range. 
covers um, all of the um, amateur band. <clears throat> You're driving along uh, 95, uh, heading south or heading north or heading to the west along 80. And you might want to see what the traffic is. Uh, tune into channel 19 and uh, there you go. Uh, you can listen to mobile um, uh, VHF Marine as well as the FRS and GMRS bands on here. And um, these radios do not transmit there. Even when the mod is done, you will not be able to transmit there except for very low mega power and don't do don't go messing around anymore in what the mod is required because if you move something else in here you might damage the radio okay um as you see it's touch screen which is a wonderful thing um there's your uh 27 megahertz your 11 meters which is transmittable I don't suggest everybody to do this unless you want to. Okay, uh, we have um, we listen to the uh, railroad band. We live near a uh, busy commuter railroad corridor here, the uh, Metro North. We like listening to that, and then. Uh, we have, uh, what else we have here? There's your, uh, your FRS or your GMRS right there. Okay. And then, you know, you go into your amateur radio band here. You, you, you know, this antenna is not made for that. Uh, I have an antenna here from an old Eagle Spitfire Andy Talkie. And uh, occasionally you might hear something on uh, here on um, 20 meters. Uh, this kick over here. It's actually pretty quiet out there. So you see you have all of these functions here. You have your preamp 1, 2, and off. You have your AGC. Your automatic gain control. You have your notch filters, noise blanker, noise reduction, split via uh, uh, Vox, compressor. You have your, um, your TBW. I forget what that what that abbreviates. Um, then you got your monitor, so you can listen to yourself. Over here, you have. Um, your duplex, your split, plus or minus, tune. I hear somebody talking out there. You have your tuner. And you have a tuner hooked up. Your battery input. Right now we're on 5 watts because we're on the battery. <coughs> you connect this thing to the uh, power supply. You get 10 watts. And uh, with a roof antenna, um, you can do pretty well. I don't know what these other little widgets are for here. Um, we have four, five, six, seven. That's blank. So I guess in the f the future, um, Icom might have some firmware or some new things there. Um, <clears throat> there's your uh, your full um, thing. If you can work the 7300, this radio is very easy to work. You have your uh, DV memory, uh, which is digital voice memory. Um, everything here for uh, for um, D Star Radio. The cloud. You can work this radio remotely. I actually gave this radio the nickname of Baby Maestro. Because some of the things you can do on a maestro, you can do on this radio. Even though this radio is not a flex, understandably. Because I know you're going to have all the crybabies out there, you know, so want to say something smart. But uh, <clears throat> I nicknamed it the baby maestro. And there you go right there. Uh, there's another blank, uh, blankety blank right there. 
You can also send pictures, receive pictures. So um, I can have my smartphone and I can send, uh, take a picture of something, um, a CSX locomotive going by or sitting at the yard. I can send it to my radio and it appear here and I can send it to another radio operator in another state or another country. That's cool. All right. Um, yeah, there is some 20 meter activity there. I believe it's uh, the guys, uh, local uh, fellas that talk over here. All right, now we have, um, no, excuse me for the jerky camera function here. Then you have on the side here, you have where you, uh, that's where your um, power supply go. Then you can also um, charge your radio right there through the uh, USB. Um, this connection over here, I believe that's for the antenna tuner. Then you have um, your uh, Morse code and, uh, and stuff there. Uh, the back here, that's your battery. Sorry for the darkness there. Um, over here, this is where your ground, your ground lug, ground. Um, over here is your microphone and your uh, speaker, speaker jack. Or to your speaker microphone. Um, then you have your SD card right there. Very important to have an SD card if you want to record something or use the full function to the radio there. This is the microphone for the microphone and um, you have um, this I jimmied up here um, to the main power cord alright I have Anderson power poles so what I do I plug these two into the two Anderson power plugs and then these two right here will go to the power supply. Connect into the power supply and I plug it down, uh, um, tighten the, um, the positive and negative um, to these uh, connections here. I soldered them and everything. Soldered this on here. So that's uh, that. And in there I have my... Uh, cleaning material to keep the the screen nice and clean then I have um, SL239 connector to BNC then we have um, this is the bag for the tripod came with a nice little swathe bag Okay, just like when we're traveling, we also have in our uh, bag there a little notebook, a little log book. We talk to a station, we log them down, and um, we also have our carry bag, which is uh, this backpack right here. And we keep a towel inside there to wrap the radio to uh, so the um, scream don't get damaged or anything like that. So that's pretty much it there. Haven't made a video in a while, so um, I hope everybody with their 705s out there are enjoying it. It's a wonderful radio. 
I've made several contacts on this radio so far, and um, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable what this radio can do. Um, I still got my H17. H17 is a good old standby, but this radio right here, I think Icom blew it out of the water. Um, mostly everything here now is SDR, uh, uh, touch screen. Um, we have the, um, everything here. Yes, we do listen to 27 megs. That's the only thing in town going on right now, locally, with a couple of fellas, uh, that, uh, hangs on 38 in the New York City area. Um... Over here, we have D-Star going on the 9700. Then we uh, listen to, um, we just turned this on for the video, the 5100 and the 7300. Okay, so the 7300 uh, is a wonderful radio as well, you know. Uh, lots of uh, fun with the 7300 and then on the uh, got the cooling units there on the uh, oh, somebody calling me on this uh, doohickey right here that's this uh, 400 right here that's running is actually uh, linked to Echolink. That's the node radio right there for, and that's the heads up display. This is running um, Echolink connected to the Ireland server and Donegal. Over here we have an MFJ1234, uh, which is going to be uh, set up onto the. Uh, um, the FT2000. This rig right here, the, um, the 7610, um, this is going to be set up for uh, the RSBA1 software, which we have a laptop computer uh, right here. But uh, we're not going to be using this because this uh, laptop is going to be connected to the um, to the wires um, room right here when I do get this thing um, on the air, the HR200. So I do have another uh, laptop computer which I will be taking with me on my vacations and when I'm uh, at my other location in the, in the Carolinas and um, can operate the station remotely. So uh, there you have it. Uh, yes, the little hockey puck going off over here, listening to some uh, activity on um, C4FM on uh, System Fusion. Across the microphone opening, not directly into it. That's where you, you pick up all the... Uh... And um, with the 7610... This uh, keyboard operates wirelessly along with uh, the mouse, as you see there, the mouse, which is right there. So that's what we're uh, doing over here with the uh, station. Uh, mostly everything is dedicated to the... Uh, 705 anyway we're going to do a, a, another video in the future of working some stations on the 705 I'm quite sure you all will find that to be fun so I bid you 73's and uh, hope you are doing well during this pandemic we lost a couple of our friends people we know and uh, you all stay safe God bless, 73s, K2CSX.